Hey, how you doing YouTube? Today I'm going to do a comparison of two ball heads that I like to use when I'm doing landscape photography. The ball head that's in my hand that you're looking at is the ball head that comes with the Mi Photo Road Trip tripod kit, which costs about $200. Now that's my wife's tripod, and I use a Mad Photo tripod with a Fluid Video 502 HD head and I love that head for video work but when it comes to doing landscape photography it doesn't give me everything that I need or I want so what I found myself doing was taking my wife ball head off her tripod and using it with my tripod but that was creating a little problems because when she was ready to use her tripod she would grab it and the ball head wouldn't be on it so what I did was I hit the market and I searched for a ball head that had similar functionalities as this one. There's a lot of features that I like in this ball head and a few that I don't, so let's get to the ball head. Okay, as I said, this is the Q1 ball head from Me Photo. It comes with the road trip tripod. I like this ball head because I do landscape and this ball here allows me to pan 360 degrees. When you release this knob right here, it allows you to pan the ball head 360 degrees from front to back. And in landscape photography, that's an awesome feature to have on the ball head. Now, what I don't like about the ball head is that it uses a two lock mechanism to release the ball head. One is this knob right here which is the tension which controls the tension of the ball head and the second is this knob right here which releases the ball head. So let me give you an example. Right now the release of the ball head is completely released but the ball head is still stationary because the tension knob is tightened up so in order to move it you have to release the tension knob and now you can move the ball head and the ball head goes 45 degrees left to right and back and this is the 90 degree axle right here so you slide it there and you at 90 degrees on your ball head there you go right there now in order to lock the ball head back in place you can use either the tension knob And now it's locked back in place. But once you use the tension knob to lock it and unlock it, the release knob becomes completely useless. Or, switch the loads. You can use the release knob to lock it back in place. And as before, once you use the release knob to lock it in place, the tension knob becomes completely useless. I understand that that's probably a safety measure put in place by me photos to add more stability and security to your camera while it's on the ball head and the tripod but it becomes quite tedious after you use both knobs especially when you're doing landscape and you want to catch something in your landscape such as birds flying over the horizon or flying past the sunset by the time you get the ball head in position using these two knobs you then miss the birds fly by so I wanted to find a ball head that was similar to this, but was a little bit more simplistic. So I hit the mark and what I found was this, the Oban BE117 ball head. It's the exact same ball head as the Mi Photo set for it only uses a one knob system to control the ball head. So if I unloosen it, the ball head can be controlled. 45 degree as the other one, 90 degree. 90 degree, 45 degrees. Tighten it back up, one knob. You can also pan 360 degrees. Now this is a new ball head that I just purchased like two days ago. So it's a little, the pan is a little stiffer than on the Mi Photo. And this one is a quite bit heavier than the Mi Photo. 
but they both support up to 17.6 pounds of weight. And what I also like about this one is it comes with two bubble points. One on the quick release plate and one on the quick release plate handle. The Mi Photo only comes with one on the quick release plate. So I really like this ball head, but the B, in my opinion, the BE-117 offers the same functionality, it's a quite bit more sturdier, and it matches my tripod perfectly actually because my tripod is black and red and my wife's tripod is orange and black and maybe I do a review on her tripod later on in another video. But thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if you found this video to be informative please hit the thumbs up. If not then leave a comment suggestions of what I can do to make my videos better. Thanks YouTube until next time.